All right, I've worked out a strategy. I'm gonna make this one my arch tops uh, slicer. This is the pan. This is the the part that'll go on to it. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to rough cut it to length first and try to get as much yield as I possibly can without being too bad on the grain direction here. Yeah, 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 fine, cut. And some scrappies, I like scrappies. Okay, so this is gonna go basically like that along this. And then I can cut my arch out of it. There's enough room here for the tenons to stick through. And so that's how that's gonna work. Yeah, that'll work out well. That'll work out just fine. Um, okay, then the other piece we've got is our our base style. This round, this eight inch one needs one along its edge, and I'm thinking three quarters is plenty for it. Yeah, there's enough heartwood in these that I'm thinking if we did. Let's do 26 for you, all of these, and just get as many 26ers out of it. I think we'll get three. 26 times three is uh, six and 70. 78, 26 times three. No, yeah, three is 18, yeah. 88, it's 88. That can't be right. 26 times three, 20 times three is 60. Six times three is 18, it's 78 for crying out loud. That is there, yeah, we'll get three out of it. Okay, that's all right, little math on the fly there. Shows you a uh, public school. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this edge and we'll start on that end. Okay, more scrappies. So this now means I've got enough for you and for you. Okay, so we just got to rip these down the middle. Those are going to go over here to get ripped at some point. Actually, these can get, um, what am I trying to do here? We can glue these together in a bit. All right, glue, I need glue. Glue, 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 glue. Always clean off your glue bottle. Alright, good enough. Blue. Gronk, 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 gronkied, gronkied. Rip off the flesh from my fingertips. There we go, yeah, that's gonna hold up fine. All right, let that cook for a while in the clamps. Now, while that's cooking, I think we're gonna work out what we're doing with these first and then I'll do those because I gotta rip this one down too, so I might as well be doing the ripping all in one go. So if I do an inch of it about like that of these, that's fine. And this is just long enough, right? 81-ish and a half, so there's more than enough there. More than enough there. So if I just cut you off at 81 and a half, we good? I think we are. I think we are. Why not? Don't even need to be 81 and a half. We'll just do 81. That's enough extra, way enough extra, because, you know, that. All right. And cut you in half. Contact. Scrappies. It's a new thing. I have never said that before in my life, and now I'm saying scrappies everywhere. There's a scrap. Contact. And 
only one sliver. Hey, you guys see what I did? Dust collection. It's important. That was cute. That was good job, Bummer. Very good job, Bummer. Very good job, Bummer. Bummer, you messed up again. Bummer. Ah, oh, bummer. It's got a sliver, though. There, no more sliver. Enough. All right, so now this was scrappy scrappy, wasn't it? Yes, it is. Scrappy scrappy. Got two bits of scrappy, three bits of three bits of scrappy scrappy. What the hell? All right. Enough of that. So we got all heartwood. All, all heartwood. All heartwood. I like it. All heartwood. All heartwood. Just a tiny bit of square sapwood there. Just a tiny bit of sapwood there. So this and this can go like that. That way, when I go into the profile, it ain't gonna hurt a thing. Hey, we're missing. Oh no, we're not. That's all heartwood. So you guys, I'm gonna put you together with. You about log that, and you'll go inside. You'll go inside about log that, and that'll be the three edges we'll make. Cool, cool. <laughs> do a totally weird thing with the next ones because I'm low on the pile of clay. Well, I guess I could use the 24s. It'd be silly to use the 24s for this, but it'll be better than any of the other things. Okay, so we're going to drag out all the big clamps now. We're doing it the tough way, the heavy way. Glue all over me. Glue all over you. Gluey, 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 glue, glue, glue. All right, this is the obnoxious clamping situation, but It'll do. We'll let that chooch. Um, the first set I glued up has, should be chooched well enough that I can apply it to this now. So, moving things around a little bit. Okay, welcome back to the shop. It's been more long time. <laughs> what? English is hard. It's been... It's been a few days. I was going to do this like on a weeknight, but I had not... Did a, nah, this, no, no. So we're just ready to pull them out. They're dry for sure. Just ready to pull them out. Oh, it's so tight. I'm strong. I was strong the other day. I'm weak this morning. <laughs> I'm not awake. Yes. So we'll just pull these out of the clampus. All right. Well, they're dry. We're ready there. Those are good. I'll take the short ones over the joiner real fast just to get a good clean edge and then we'll run them through the planer after that. The long ones, I'm actually just going to throw through the planer because, well, because I can and because the joining them is a bigger preposition and they don't need to be that. It's not that critical. Um, so we're going to head to the joint. Ooh, the joiner's covered with stuff. Look at my joiner. This is bad. Joiner's back in there somewhere. Um, <laughs> let's get joining. I'm going to join the small ones at least, and then I'll bring it back. All right, now it's time for the planer. This, I need to work out my dust collection a little bit and then 
we'll run them through. Um, the jointing went all right. I didn't take too bad, too many passes, too much was okay. Um, so we're gonna leave them with as thick as I can here. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna rearrange the dust collection a little tiny bit and then get ready for planing. We'll bring you back in a second. Okay, it's time for glue again. It's glue time. Um, we're just gluing those strips I just planed onto the edges of the style boards and we'll do the rails as well here. Alright, that is ready to dry. We'll let that sit for a bit and dry away. I can, no, we're not cinching any harder. I might try putting a glove on and see if I can get that a little tighter. We'll see. So there's that one. We'll do the next ones next. Alright, so we've got our dry fit for the remaining pieces and they're the short ones and the, the cherry bits are a lot shorter so I'm gonna mark for center so that they get put where they belong. 31 and a half. So Oh, 15 and three quarters. For those of you who aren't certain, 80 centimeter, or 80 millimeters. So that's pretty easy too, isn't it? 40, 40 mil. No, that's centimeters, 80 centimeters, sorry. Let's try it. Try that again. Yeah, that's at 80. Boy, that's perfectly 80. So let's make our center marks here and then just try to keep them somewhat aligned. It doesn't need to be perfect, really, but within a half inch would be fine. Okay. Do that to the other sides. That needed. These little guys are 66 centimeters, so we can do 33. Yep. Okay, let's do this one as well. Yep, 33. I had that pretty well eyeballed though. Not, uh, not that bad. Not that bad. Yeah, metric worked for me this time. And I don't have a thing against metric. I'm fine with metric. Okay. Now, when these go in, I line up all these center lines. And then, we'll know that we're in good sync. Good, good, all my offsets are good. We are ready for some more glue. Yeah. <clears throat> That's everything clamped. Now we gotta wait for all of that to dry. And then we'll do it one more time with veneer strips as well. We'll leave everything there, it's fine. Stay, good. All right, I'll bring it back when everything's dry. All right, well, we wait for Clampageddon to un uh, uh, dry, I guess. Um, while I'm waiting for this to dry, these edges, so I've got the edging on the ins on the inner parts that get, that get profiles on them. They're going to get, you know, a decorative profile. But on the outside, it's just going to be flat, so I don't need a thick piece. I just need a strip of veneer to cover the, the inner core. So I just got one of my extra bits of cherry veneer here. And it's wide enough to get three, at least three strips out that I can put on in the outer edges of all the rails and styles to hide the course. So we're gonna slice this off at about an inch and a, a little under an inch and a half. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna set up and get that cut.
All right, enough has been time. I mean, English, words are hard. Enough time in the clamps. It's time to bring them back out and get the glue on for the veneer on the other side. So I'm hoping today, it's not sure, but hoping today I can get um, the veneer on the faces tonight into the vacuum bag so I can uh, have them ready tomorrow for the next operation. Got the skinny boards now, or the short boards, not the skinny ones, but the short boards up here. We're ready for their strips. We only need two this time, so this guy is finished. We're done with him. He can get set aside. Now, the ones I really care about are these. Yeah, so we'll slide you forward here. Just flip you across. Two against that, I'll put you guys here. Let's get our clampies situated. And then I'm gonna take spaces and just space them out to ensure Trapa spasana. Like so, and finally like so. Good, we already got one here. Okay, now I just need a strip of venar of the right size. And I'm just gonna grab scissors because it'll cut the scissors, I think. We'll find out. Let's go. It doesn't actually have to be full length, but I'm gonna go pretty far. one. Flip it and do the other side, same thing. Just to make sure we end up with reasonably solid bits. That's done. Alright, now we can break out ye old the glue. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Ye oldie glue. I'm going to glue this side down and this side down. Yeah, it doesn't matter really. Okay, glue and roller. We're gonna let this set up, and now just for photographic purposes, we'll take a shot of that. <laughs> All right, let that dry. We'll bring you back in a bit. All right, the clamps have had about oh, two-ish hours, maybe hour and a half, two hours, somewhere in there. To to chooch, and that should be enough for me to get to the flush, flush trimmings. And there we are. Yeah, that's on there pretty good. Seems okay. On enough to be flush trimmable. Flush trimmable. Flush trimmable. That's flush trimmable. All right. So we're gonna swing over to the router table here. All right, we have our flush trim bit that is just barely long enough to cut these. Um, and we're just going to flush everything up to this surface and this surface. And uh, while we wait for more glue to dry, um, and then I'll have that. That'll basically get us ready to put the veneer on. Um, so I'm just going to start. It's going to be noisy, so we'll get some head protection. Earring, earring, heading. Pr Brilliant! We'll get some ear protection on and uh, get after it. Okay, we're ready. I got my earphones. <laughs> I'm really ready. My earphones are on. Um, just set up here. Got a couple of feed rollers to help uh, keep this thing on balance. Um, same game, we're just going to trim the veneer side first because it's the flimsiest and I don't want to be handling it much. Handle it as little as I can while it's still fragile. 
and then uh, we'll just get it flush trimmed and then we'll flip it and do the other sides. All right, here we go. All right, so I've got everybody flushed except this one. This is the top rail. This is the one that's going to get the arc cut into the arch, the arch cut into it. Problem is, is the width of this is too much for the flush trim bit. I can't reach it. Um, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to use my planer instead for a little of this. I'm just going to stick some MDF to one side and run it through so it'll space it away. I truly don't think I even need this much tape, but we're going to go with this and just, uh, oh, I did not grab a knife, did I? Well, let's cut that off. And then uh, we'll take it to the planer so that, I'll show you, I'll show you here in a second. It'll be obvious. Okay. I'll take this out. Okay. Now we just stick this chunk of MDF to fill up the overhang and now this will lay flat and run through the planer and I can plane all of this off until I get really close to this surface. Then I'll run to the drum sander and do the exact same thing so I can get it really close and not take a bunch of waste off. So to the planer we go. Okay, so everything's been planed flat. I've got it really close on this one. Um, it's a little proud, so I'm gonna send it through the drum sander now and get it flush. And then once I've got that one flushed, I should be able to bring the rest of them through and get them all the same thickness. We need everything the exact same thickness. So we'll get that going. Um, this will be a lot of boring drum sanding, I think. We are ready for veneering. More stupid veneering by yourself tricks here. Um, I've got the bag, got the bag popped up again just to get it so I can add my material to it. I just want to get this wrinkle out of the middle if I can. Let's get out of the middle. Hello. Hello. Oh, that sounds funny. Hello. <laughs> I'm in a tunnel. Literally. That. I'm in a our sarcophagus is what I'm in. Right. We'll try to get that to work. We'll bring our veneer in, hopefully. This is going to be weird. We'll see how this all does. Um, I'm going this route because it's easier to come in this way now. But yeah, we're going to hopefully have enough glue. Still using Unibond 800, by the way, until I run out. I'm um, going to use that glue. I'm going to get the glue on the large, the long strips first and then slip them in. Um, I think I'm going to try, we'll try it once if it works, if it, I'll do it again, but if not, I'll do it one at a time. But I'm going to try to put the veneer on both sides at the same time. That could be a mess. We'll see. We'll find out. So stay tuned as we begin the gluing process. All right, <clears throat> it's time to mix up the glue. I. Um, I've got this really wide shot over here. You'll see uh, maybe the jug of glue. I'm going to mix there. I'm going to I'm going to roll it on over here, over here. That's funny perspective. Over over here, and then I'll put it in the bag, which you can see is over here. Brilliant! All right. Uh, I don't have to get nervous. I have like an hour of working time with this stuff. So I'm not real concerned there. What I'm a little concerned about is getting two slices of veneer onto this thing in such a way that doesn't suck. So 
I'm about to put you on some good music and you're just going to get the entire process because I, God, there's no stopping in between. This is going to be a fairly large amount of glue up. I'll probably have to mix up glue a couple of times. But um, we're going to give it a go. Fingers crossed. All right. Well, okay, that first of all was about, literally about an hour total from mix and all. So if I got enough glue on, it should be okay. You can see it's buckled because that center rail had notches on either corner and it all collapsed when, the, of course it all collapsed. I should have cut that to a better size, actually. I really should have just cut them off, but Sorry, I really should have just cut them off because the joinery is going to take it out anyways. Um, it also cracked like crazy here because it's way wider. Um, I wanted the extra room in case the in case the veneer shifted, and I wanted to make sure I had decent coverage. But at the same time, I left an overhang, and by doing both sides, I don't know what the underside looks like at all. Um, it cracked along the outer edge, but that should be okay because the outer edge actually has all that cherry to get a profile so hopefully all the damage that was done is in areas that are going to get cut away anyhow these two styles seem to be fine hopefully i hope there's enough overhang here i'll find out tomorrow um so basically every glue up even if you've got hours of time is stressful and this was no different. Um, fingers are crossed that I ended up with decent stuff here. Wow. It was cracking like crazy and I finally said, I, and you saw I popped open the bag just in case I could shift things around. I couldn't shift things around anywhere. It was just, this was just going to have to be a pain and a pain it was. I believe having these two slide up against each other actually helped them not collapse badly which is great uh, I'm letting it continue to uh, run a bit because I want to make sure it stays under vacuum and gets all the air out I want to make sure it has a chance to get all the air evacuated oh, man, that one was stressful it's still stressful because I gotta open this thing up tomorrow and go okay did it work or not um, there's a chance it didn't it's a pretty good chance that it didn't. I may not have gotten enough glue on. I hope I did. I'll find out tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, all right. Well, there you go. That is a stressful case of gluing. We'll see what it looks like in the morning.